Hello, my name is Dan Frechette. I'm a senior technical specialist at Microsoft. And today, I'd like to show you a couple of integration options we have with the Microsoft Defender for IoT. So in the past videos, you've learned that the Microsoft Defender for IoT is an ICS and OT IoT security and operational platform that is self-contained. Everything that you need to get from this tool can be done on an individual sensor or its central manager alone. It can work in an air-gapped environment. But with many institutions now using SIMs and SORs and other tools to be able to keep track of what's going on in the network, integration is key. And integration with the system is rather straightforward. So I'm going to walk through two different scenarios. One is setting up integration with Splunk, and the other is uh, integration with ServiceNow. So very simply, I can go into the forwarding option, and I can create a rule. So I will have one that's called Splunk. Now, there's a few options that are available here. First, I can go and say whatever protocol um we're running um and the alert is is based on send it or i can specify an individual so if i want to look at just the emerson open bsi but what i'm going to do is just i'm going to keep that wide open um, i can also specify which of the uh, machine learning engines that the alert comes from that we're going to send up now i can go and select you know, anomaly or malware or operational policy and protocol violations. Or once again, I will set it for all. And then I can pick the severity. So I only want critical uh, alarms and, and information sent up to Splunk or major and above or warning or what have you. So I'm just gonna say, you know, anything warning and above from any of the five engines in any protocol that we're watching send up to Splunk. And then I simply go in and I put in the information for the Splunk server, the host, the username, the port, and the password, and hit submit. And that's all there is to it. Now, the other one that I'm going to show um, is for ServiceNow. Same issues or same information. I can go in and I can select my severity, the engines, the protocols. But in this case, I'm going to go in and say, OK, well, I'm going to integrate with ServiceNow. I put in the URL, the username and password, my client ID and secret, and the report type, either CyberX application or incidents, and hit Submit. And that's all there is to it. Now, if I were to go over to service now you can see all the information that is being forward is sent off here this is the inventory in inventory i can go and i can look at the assets that we're tracking or i can look at the firmware for the different devices we have there and their model and any additional data that we are learning from the devices on the ot environment I can also go in and start looking at the alerts. So I want to look at all the alerts. Or let's just say I want to look at operational alerts. So here, um, this outstation device running Modbus is having issues. The sensor um, is resumed collecting data. This DNP outstation is experiencing issues. So with this information coming from the Defender for IoT product into ServiceNow, you can run it through the typical things that ServiceNow is used for ticketing and letting people know what's going on and giving the, the evidence they need to go and track down this, in, this uh, information and do what they need to do. I hope this helps. Thank you very much. Take care.